One of Central Victoria's uh, hardest working contemporary bands, Ruttiger, is launching its new album, Formation of Flight, tonight at the Golden Vine. This is the preview launch, by the way. The record won't be in shops for a couple more weeks. But uh, to explain where this album's come from, Shannon Wakefield is with us this morning. Good morning, Shannon. Morning, Jonathan. How are we? Not bad at all, thank you. Long time coming, this particular album. Yeah, well, we started it um, back in June 2002. The reason why it took so long was just due to uh, the amount of money that we spent on it and time that we wanted to spend, um, seeing we were self-funding it. It's a a costly process. I bet it is. Now, what's going to be disappointing for people who say, well, you spend a lot of money, what's the sound, is that I've played a song from the album on the radio before, but I'm going to get you to play your guitar for us instead in a minute. So uh, you'll have to wait and listen or, um, of course, go along to the gig tonight. But uh, it's amazing what money can buy. I don't know what it is. Compared to the other albums I've heard of yours, it seems a little bit more mellow or something. Um... It's more, we sort of took more time and we sort of wanted to get more of a commercial edge and um, yeah, it's a bit more of a budget like the other stuff sort of sounds like it was recorded in a garage. Okay, so are we betraying our grassroots to go commercial here? Uh, I don't know, you know, it, it'd be great to uh, be actual, you know, be able to uh, do it as a living and you know, you've sort of, I suppose, I'm selling in, not selling out by the way. Um, you've got to sell in to, you know, get that commercial sound to get radio play and um, chat to great people like yourself. Oh, shucks, Shannon. Okay, so let's talk about the process that you're under. You've just pressed the CD, you're launching it tonight, but of course you need airplay. How hard, how do you do it? Well, um, recently I've just signed a worldwide publishing deal and um, as part of that I've also got like a musical lawyer who works in the same building as um, Rubber Records. So they're actually doing all the work for me. Does that mean that through those associations that's a foot in the door? Yeah. I don't have, for a change, I don't have to ring up um, DJs and say, hey, can you play our stuff? They're doing the work for us. So it's fantastic. And does that give you the cred? Instead of uh, you saying, hi, I'm the lead singer and I'm the foot soldier, I've, this is my lawyer. He'll do it for me. <laughs> well... I don't know if it gives me cred, that's that's debatable and it's to be seen, but um, yeah, time will tell. If we start getting some airplay, then uh, the job's been done. What's the feeling? Would you get airplay with this? Um, you'd think so, and we sort of hope so, because, you know, the amount of money we've spent, we sort of, I worked it out, we've sort of got to spend, uh, sell 700 copies of the album. So To cover costs. To cover costs. But when you work it out, you know, people at Bendigo need to pull their money out of their pockets and buy a copy you know it's probably only one in every hundred people or something that's going to buy the album for us to cover our costs so it's definitely doable and it's a good album too if you like um, modern music a bit of a ringing guitar sound this fantastic music now shannon you've talked about the commercial input here what about the artistic input where where have the creative juices come from for this one um oh various things like there's a song on there it's uh, about under 12's uh, football it's called Centre Half Bench, and uh, yeah, that's just about not getting a run and under twice football every week and uh, cutting up oranges and various things like that. Oh, you must have had a similar sports <coughs> career to me as a kid. You know, um, I played soccer and I played left right out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh dear, so there's some sad ones. And the song we're going to get you to play, The Brightest Star, sounds a little bit like what unrequited love here. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of love in this song, and um, I, r- I wrote it for my dad. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, then. Well, we'll have a listen to that in a moment. But first of all, I want you to tell me Golden Vine tonight. It's quite actually a big lineup that you've got it is. going, too. We've got um, young Bowden Dower from uh, Sender. He's opening up at uh, 9.30. And then we've got um, one of the best-looking men in Bendigo, Skip, from Ethanol. He's going to uh, follow Bowden. And then there'll be uh, four guys jumping on the stage and... Uh, Blasting some ears, which will be Rudiger at uh, about 11 o'clock. But we've also joined uh, with an elder statesman of the musical industry in Bendigo, uh, John Piccolo, who uh, will be playing keyboards with us. Oh, fantastic. For the oh, whole that's gig. great. I'm, actually, it's interesting because Skip and John I met 
Jesus Christ Superstar last year. So uh, it's nice to see them getting back to their real roots as well. So it's all happening tonight at the Golden Vine. A great way to start Easter. And um, now let's have a listen to this song, The Brightest Star. Thank you. And uh, I'd just like to say uh, uh, the gig's uh, proudly sponsored by Warehouse Services. <coughs> Thanks so much, Shannon, for that. This is the ABC. It's 18 past seven. Shannon, take it away. My life means nothing. I wonder alone without direction. Shannon Wakefield from Rutiger and Brightest Star and launching their CD tonight at the Golden Vine Hotel. 21 past 7, this is 91.1 ABC Central Victoria, nine minutes to local. One of Central Victoria's uh, hardest working contemporary bands, Rutiger, is launching its new album, Formation of Flight, tonight at the Golden Vine. This is the preview launch, by the way. The record won't be in shops for a couple more weeks. But uh, to explain where this album's come from, Shannon Wakefield is with us this morning. Good morning, Shannon. Morning, Jonathan. How are we? Not bad at all, thank you. Long time coming, this particular album? Yeah, well, we started it um, back in June 2002. Uh, the reason why it took so long was just due to uh, the amount of money that we spent on it and